Welcome to the project Arthrogenesis. The speculative evolution seed world, Arthronia planet, is a planet inhabited by ants. In our last episode, we explored the Timosian strengths of Arthronia. Today, we shift our focus to the southern hemisphere, to the strange and mysterious Fungal Mars. Here, a unique ecosystem of bizarre creatures, plants, and fungi thrives. We'll journey deeper into this alien landscape and uncover the secret it holds. 10 million years post-seeding, during the early Proto-Chaetonian period, much like the northern territories, fierce competition for food shaped the leaves of the southern end colonies. For these colonies, carbohydrates from sugars and proteins from hunting insects or gathering seeds serve as the primary source of energy. Yet in a land where competition is fierce and resources are scarce, some colonies have taken a different path to avoid constant war and conflict over this precious resource. Many have turned to something else, an unexpected source that will forever change their evolutionary path. Meet Myrmecoretus, Fungicolis, or the Mushroom Ant. Its name is a fusion of Myrmeco from Greek word for ant, and Retus, Latin for red, reflecting its unusual large, rodent like size. The species name Fungicolis combines fungi for fungus and colis for dweller, emphasizing the deep mutual relationship this ant have with the cultivative. The mushroom ant measure between 15 to 20 cm in length and weighs around 400 to 600 grams, massive compared to their smaller relative. Their exoskeleton are not only sturdier but more flexible, offering protection against predators while allowing them greater mobility through the dense and treacherous terrain of their mercy home. Covered in a thin layer of symbiotic fungi, their bodies resemble patches of moss blending seamlessly with their surrounding. Special grooves in their exoskeleton provide a perfect surface for the fungi to grow, offering a natural shield and an almost a perfect camouflage. Over time, these ants mandibles have evolved, no longer weapons for warfare but tools for harvesting. While still sharp, their jaws are now adapted for slicing through vegetation, which they carefully carry back to their nest to nourish the fungi they tend. Perhaps the most remarkable feature of these ants is their symbiotic relationship with the fungi they grow on and around them. Tiny spores flourish in specialized in the ant's exoskeleton, providing protection from harmful pathogens. In return, the ants cultivate and spread the fungi, ensuring their mutual survival. Unlike many other ant species, mushroom ants avoid contact with rival colonies by building their nests in remote, hard to reach areas like dense forests or steep cliffs. Their reliance on fungal gardens allow them to remain largely self-sufficient, reducing the need to venture into the dangerous territories of combating and colonies. But the relationship between these ants and their fungi goes even deeper. Through subtle chemical signal, the fungi communicate with the ants helping regulate their activity. If a particular section of the fungal garden requires more nutrients, the ants receive the signal and immediately respond. This level of cooperation ensures the survival of both species. 
deep within their underground chambers. The ants maintain their fungal gardens, gathering plant material, decaying leaves, and even fallen fruit to feed their fungi. In return, the fungi produce nutrient-rich growth that the ants consume. The symbiotic relationship allows the mushroom ants to avoid competing with other species for prey, as their primary food source is the fungi they cultivate. Toxomycota myrmicifigilis, or the guardian fungus. Its genus name, Toxomycota, from the Greek word toxicon, meaning poison, hints at its deadly capabilities, while its species name, Myrmicifigilis, combines Myrmex for N and Figilis for guardian, reflecting its protective role within the N colony. The guardian fungus is an ordinary organism. Its primary structure consists of delicate white mycelial threads that spread deep underground, intertwining with the end colonist tunnel. This mycelial network serves as more than just a passive growth. It reinforces the very foundation of the colony, strengthening the soil and ensuring the intricate labyrinth of tunnel does not collapse. Additionally, it facilitates the exchange of nutrients between the fungus and the ants, cementing their mutual dependence. Above ground, the guardian fungus forms thick, fleshy fruiting bunnies, often pale white or yellow, with a smooth or finely rich surface. These fruiting bunnies are more than just reproductive structures, they are live weapons. Special glands at their base secrete a mild toxin designed not to harm the ants but to defend against would be intruders. When disturbed, the fretting bodies release chemical compounds from tiny, sac like structures within the mycelium and fretting body. The sac rupture and releasing a cloud of potent toxin into the surrounding air and soil. The fungus reproduces by releasing spores through a small opening in its fruiting bodies. These spores are carried by ants, unknowingly spreading the fungus as they traverse their colony. Its new queen takes spores along with her when establishing a new nest, ensuring that this protective guardian accompanies every new colony. This bond is so deep that wherever the ants go, the guardian fungus follows. Its mycelial whip and win with their future. The toxins released by the guardian fungus are incredibly effective in keeping rival colonies at bay. They are not lethal to the ants, but act as powerful deterrents against predators and invaders. Rival ant species or small arthropods that come too close to the mushroom ant colony find themselves disoriented or paralyzed, their nervous system overwhelmed by the chemical assault. These dogs also serve another purpose. They mark the territory of the mushroom ant colony, a biological warning sign that tells other creatures to stay away. But the guardian fungus doesn't just rely on its chemical defense. It communicates with the ants through subtle chemical signals. When a section of the fungal network is damaged or under threat, the fungus releases a specific chemical marker. The signal prompts an immediate defensive response from the ants, who prioritize the protection of their fungal farms and colony. This advanced level of communication ensures the survival of bird species in the hostile environment of Artronia. Beneath the surface, the mycelium forms an extensive network that strengthens the ant colony's infrastructure, providing support to the tunnel and chambers. This not only fortifies the colony, but also creates a stable environment for the ants to thrive. In times of danger, the guardian fungus exhibits an astonishing ability to regenerate. 
if a part of its mycelial network or fruiting body is damaged during an attack, it can rapidly regrow, restoring its defensive capabilities. The ants, ever loyal partners, assist in this process by delivering nutrients and clearing away debris from the damaged area, ensuring that their fungal guardian can continue to protect them. Together, Toxa Mycota, Mermisi Fidulis, and the Masterman form a remarkable alliance. The fungus provides chemical defenses, structural support, and communication, while the ends over nutrients, dispersal, and care. This symbiotic relationship has allowed both species to flourish in the harsh, competitive environment of the fungal Mars, where survival depends on adaptations, cooperation, and evolution. The Masterman colonies are marvels of organization and efficiency. Their worker meticulously carve deep tunnels beneath the damp soil, often near the roots of towering trees. These tunnels are not merely passageways, but serve as storage chamber, nurseries, and fast fungal farms that sustain the colony. Once the structural framework is complete, the ants coat the tunnel walls with mycelium, reinforcing the earth around them. This fungal layer not only fortifies the tunnel against collapse, but also releases toxin into the soil. These toxins that are burrowing in fader, such as rival ants or small predators, creating a secure barrier for the colony. At the heart of the colonies lies a large central chamber, the fungal garden. Here, the mushroom ants cultivate their guardian fungi, which both nourish the colony and strengthen the wall of the nest. This chamber is kept moist and temperature control, with narrow ventilation shafts that allow air circulation while keeping out potential predators. Adjacent to the fungal garden are the nurseries, carefully managed by dedicated workers. Here egg and larvae are tended to with great care. The guardian fungus plays a critical role in the development of the next generations, releasing calming chemicals that promote faster growth and protect the vulnerable young from disease. Nearby, Specialized storage chambers are used to hoard protein-rich food source, such as the remains of prey or scavenged seeds. Sweet substances are also carefully stored, providing a necessary balance of nutrients for the colony's continuous growth. Along the outer edges of the nest lie colony's first line of defense narrow, winding tunnels designed to slow down in failures. This tight passageways force enemies to single-file combat, where they must face the colonists' powerful soldiers and in confined space. Here, the size and strength of the barrier give them the upper hand against any intruders. While the soldiers stand guard, the workers spend much of their time in the fungal gardens. They chew up plant material, breaking it down into a paste that is then fit to the fungi, ensuring its continued growth. As the colony expands, the workers spread the fungi into new chambers, constantly reinforcing the nest with fresh layer of mycelium. They also tend to the larvae in the nurseries feeding them a mixture of honey and fungal nutrients. To protect the young from infections, the ants apply fungal secretions to the larva, acting as a natural shield against harmful pathogens. When the mushroom ants are not tending to their fungal forms, they become formidable hunters. Swift and aggressive, they target smaller insect rival ants and even scavenge the remains of fallen creatures. In addition to their predatory prowess, the ants harvest the bounty of their fungal gardens. The nutrient-rich yield 
support the growth of larva and sustain the queen, ensuring the survival and continued prosperity of the colony. This adaptive nature of mother man has allowed them to thrive in the fungal mars for millions of years. By forming a symbiotic relationship with the guardian fungus, they have carved out a unique niche avoiding direct competition with other ant species. Their evolution has been shaped by the challenges of their environment, leading to an intricate balance between aggression, cooperation, and cultivation. In the 10 million years past city, during the early Protoceptonian period, the ants of the fungal mars have undergone remarkable evolutionary changes. Species like the mushroom ant have specialized and diversified, carving out their own ecological roles through their partnership with the fungi. These adaptive ants not only survive, but flourish, making the fungal mars a testament to the power of evolution and cooperation in one of Artronia's most mysterious regions. Thank you for watching this episode of Arthrogenesis. The next episode will explore another species of ant that survives in a mysterious place. Leave me a comment if you have any thoughts on this episode. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.